And I want to serve. So my, my share, my thought is, it's about how many people made me. How much hard work went in making a film or doing something, uh, got me educated, my parents and everything. It is this nation, this society, which gave, gave me all this. So I decided that I would never run away from this nation, even. I'm not saying all the people who have gone abroad or something, they're not, I'm not saying they're wrong, but there are a lot of people who want to come and contribute to our nation. You all dream, one day I want whatever the brain drain went to other countries, one day in the same, some form, I want them to create such kind of atmosphere in our country where they would come and contribute and make another, where they would contribute to become this country as a superpower. That's what I believe in and I request you all, today what I'm sharing with you is, you are the, you are the future. And you have to take responsibility for your own life. You don't try to run away. Whatever I'm doing today, I started around two decades back. I said I made some money. I made a name. And I don't, just don't want to confine myself for my comforts. Na sukalu, na saukyalu kadu. Kastalu, ok nalgondalo, ekkodam maru moola. In a nook and corner of a, a district in, in our Telangana. When they were going through fluoride issues, I said, I want to contribute. I want to do something. Somewhere in Adilabad, Tanda, when there is no drinking water, I want to do my bit part. But once, why I have chosen politics is to serve more. I'm not interested in money. I'm not interested in fame. I'm not interested in taking, uh, giving autographs. I'm not interested. I'm interested only to serve the nation. I feel it is my payback. It is my gratitude because this country, not desam. This is what my country has given me. I want to make sure in my lifetime I'll pay back. In they say. Thank you. I'm going to talk to students. I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to talk With all your intellectual abilities, why I said Leonardo da Vinci in the beginning, Leonardo da Vinci or Nicholas Tesla, apart from their intellectual prowess and abilities and skills, they're physically very strong people. And it is like, as, as the Roman poet said, a sound mind in a sound body. Never, don't confine yourself only to intellectual stimulation. Physically, you have to be damn fit. Physically, you have to be strong. I urge you to become intellectual warriors. Intellectually, you have to be very strong. And physically also, one should be strong. And I'm that kind of, that's the reason why I went for martial arts is to make myself strong. It is not to hit people. It is not to abuse somebody, but to defend me, to defend myself at the same time, to have a, a very strong a physical discipline, which will have some kind of, uh, some kind of holistic development who would be there in me if I practice any martial arts. And you won't be cruel. If you know how to defend yourself, your violence quotient would be very, very minimal. And apart from that, never stop learning. Books are the training weights of the mind. Never stop learning. Even till today. In fact, I was sharing with one of your students, a former student. I was reading about, I used to read about a lot of uh, physics and uh, mathematics books. Even I still keep ordering books. Even I, t I keep on reading about calculus, algebra. Not, not that I understand a lot. But I keep on learning because I had given up somewhere intermediate. Still I try to learn algebra, still I learn to learn, uh, still I keep learning calculus. But the most beautiful thing is, I keep on learning physics and about uh, Douglas Hofstadter wrote a book called The Eternal Golden Brain. It's about, the reason is, 
One, though I don't understand that much, but I keep on learning, it's because it keeps on stimulating my mind. And it always, it limits me. Maybe I might be, if I go onto the roads, maybe I might be getting oh, lacks of people, great encouragement, great love, which makes me egoistic. It could have made me egoistic if I would not be learning. The reason I keep on learning different subjects is, it, it, keep, it teaches me humility. A subject which you don't know. A subject which you're not aware of. If you keep learning, what happens is, you calm down yourself. I said, I don't know something. If you assume only this is me, maybe because if I go out, lots of people might be appreciating me, I said, I won't take it seriously. What I would take seriously is, I am ignorant. I don't know much because I don't know, this. I don't know about algebra, I don't know about calculus, I don't know much about physics. So most of the people, you have to have a whole brain development. Even for, for example, my friend, the director, Mr. Trivikram Srinivas also. So you have to understand in the film industry, there are a lot of brilliant people out there. They are highly educated. He was a, Mr. Trivikram Srinivas is, he, was, he graduated from Andhra University in nuclear physics. He was a university gold medalist. But he has chosen his films to be carried uh, as a career. So arts and science can go together. Even if you look at James Cameron, he was an engineer. So all these things makes you to you somewhere you should understand the integrity, integrating science and humanities together. That makes you a far far superior achiever. Till to date, though I am I come from the humanities background, I keep on learning sciences. I keep on understanding technology. I keep on updating myself on multiple subjects. So never stop exploring this. You are learning in a, a comprehensive way. In, when you want to learn something, long back I read a book called Super learning. So anything you want to learn, it is a 10,000 hour job. At one point of time, I was scared to face crowds and never used to. I was scared to face crowds and never used to. I was scared to face crowds and never used to. I was scared to face crowds I was scared to face crowds and never used to. I was continuously scared of everyone to express myself. Though I was reading a lot, I was absorbing a lot, I, want to pra I used to practice a lot, but I was scared. But I keep on conquering my fear. It's about, all of you must be developing your intellectual muscle and mental muscle. You also should develop a muscle of courage. Unless you keep on practicing it. Daiji on Mano, six pack jasam, eight pack inka, heavy kandal binch tangani, we forget to pump up the courage. So you have to strengthen the, your, apart from your mental muscle, you have to pump up your muscle of courage. So never try to take any bold decision irrespective of failure. That's how you keep on growing. And as you keep growing, we are segregating. And I feel extremely. Good. So it's about, sorry to say, it's about 10,000 hour rule. Anything you want to learn in life, you can learn. But you have to give sufficient amount of time. It is minimum at 10,000 hours to get a mastery over it. So what I did was I used to keep on imagining myself that I would be speaking to lakhs of people. That's the only dream I had. And I want to say something without fearless. This is what I had practiced. I took responsibility and I had faced. And it is very, very essential when something is happening right in front of you. Some mistake is happening in front of you. Take responsibility. And you, when you face something, when you go through such and certain situations, for example, I used to get, like everyone else, 
once I was shooting a film called Toliprema. Right in front of my eyes, someone had met with an accident. Something, uh, he was a biker. He collided with some uh, four wheeler and he fell down. So, entire body was, he was bleeding. And most of the people were looking at him. And they gathered around, including my own uh, shooting crew. They gathered around him. And everyone was having an opinion, but no one is taking charge. I was supposed to get into the sh shot. I was having a white shirt and the black trousers. I have forgotten everything. I lifted him, put him in the car, and taken him to the hospital. I said, help with the shooting. First, I want to save this man's uh, life. What I'm saying is, sometimes, in the process of achieving, 